Hey everyone, welcome to another NM Botronics tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the while loop and the do while loop. And the while loop will loop continuously until the expression inside the parentheses have become false. So something has to change your variable that's being tested or else your loop will run forever and never exit. Alright, let's see what a while loop looks like. Uh, inside our void loop we're going to write while and then we're going to have our open parenthesis and we're going to, inside the parentheses, we're going to have our expression. Alright, we're going to close that parenthesis and we're going to open a uh, curly bracket hit enter a couple times and close the curly bracket and inside this while loop here inside the curly brackets this will be where our statement or statements will be now if this expression is true then the while loop is going to execute this is kind of like a an if in the fact that if it's true it will execute this so let's get rid of the expression here and the statements here and we'll show you what one would look like so here we're going to have a variable uh, say int equals zero and inside the while loop we're going to make this run oh, a couple hundred times and what we'll do is uh, oh, I better give this a name uh, da, 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 da. x x equals zero alright so inside the while expression here we're going to write x is less than 200 and then we're just going to uh, let me see do something here and then we're going to increment our x alright so if x equals 0 this is going to run it's going to be less than 200 so this is going to run roughly 200 times each time it comes down here it's going to increment 0, 1, 2 and so on until x equals 200 and then it's going to skip this whole while loop alright that's it for the while uh, let's take a look at the do while okay our do while loop uh, the do loop works in the same manner as the while loop did with the exception that the condition is tested at the end of the loop uh, so the do loop will always run at least once uh, let's let's check out a demo how, we, uh, how this is set up we have do and then we're going to have our curly brackets inside our curly brackets we have our uh, statement statement block and down at the end we're going to have our while and then we're going to have our uh, parentheses open and closed and inside these parentheses we are going to this is where our condition is going to be uh, so that uh, let's write that down condition so now if this can it's gonna go down the code it's gonna hit this do and it's gonna do whatever's in here and then it's gonna hit the while and if the condition inside the while is true then it's gonna go back up and it's gonna do the do statement again and again until this condition is no longer true until it's false alright so let's write out an example one here let's say that we're uh, reading from a sensor. So let's say x equals uh, read read sensor. We'll be calling a method there to read the sensor and once the sensor is read it will return a value and put that give that value to x and then let's say that uh, our condition down here while x is less than 100 okay so we're gonna execute our code it's gonna come down it's gonna hit the do loop and here on this line we're gonna read our sensor let's say that our sensor returns uh, 200 
So now x equals 200. We're going to come down here while x is less than 100. Well, that condition's not true anymore. So it's going to skip this. It's going to skip going back up and it's going to continue on with code. Now, if our sensor returned 50, while 50 is less than 100, then it's going to go back up here and it's going to do the do loop again. And if our variable is below 100, it will keep on doing this do loop until the variable is either 100 or a larger. Alright, this will do it for our while and our do while loop. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. Uh, thank you for watching.